Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the Mark 50. The Mark 50 is a pistol manufactured by ETS and is in service with the UNSC. The gun fires 10mm rounds from a detachable magazine. It differs significantly from the M6 series of pistols, the UNSC's most prominent sidearms. Lacking the M6's signature handguard, SmartLink KFA2 optic, while also firing a lower caliber round. Trademarks include ETS's logo on top of the slide, what I assume is a unique serial number below the slide, another ETS stamp located only on the left side, and all the way at the front says MK50 Sidekick and caliber 10mm which is the, what the gun fires. The design of the Mark 50 is relatively simplistic, with the magazine release, slide release, I assume back here are two takedown levers to disassemble the slide, a safety switch right above the trigger, and finally, you have a laser flashlight module. Oh. The sights are pretty good on this weapon and feature orange fiber optic sights to help you aim in low lighting. The Mark 50 holds 12 rounds in the mag, plus 72 extra spare rounds. The fire rate I got was around 475 rounds per minute. Reload speed was around 1.09 seconds. Tactical reload speed was around 0.87 seconds. Max effective range is 24.6 meters and the max effective range zooming in is 34.3 meters. Damage output is 6 shots to break shields and 4 shots to health for a 10 shot kill. Or 6 shots to break shields and 1 to the head for a 7 shot kill. Body shot TTK was around 1.63 seconds. Headshot TTK was around 1.05 seconds.
Overall, the sidekick is a mixed bag because it kind of varies depending on the game's settings. In competitive play, it fits its role perfectly for the most part. In BTB, having it as your secondary in your starting loadout was a bad idea when BTB had sidekick starts. I don't think it has a place in BTB now because you spawn with the assault rifle and the bandit rifle is a gun you can rely on to shoot straight anyways. In social play, it is complicated. It's complicated because both the AR and sidekick fight each other back and forth. This wasn't really the case in past games. In past games, you use the AR for close encounters and your pistol at mid to long range. In Infinite, both guns have bloom, but ironically the AR is more reliable at long range than the sidekick, which is backwards as fuck. Social play in this game is not very fun, and that's partially due to skill-based matchmaking, but it's also due to the AR and sidekick being very shitty starting weapons. The AR and pistol dynamic in this game is royally fucked. Now I have a lot more to say, but I'll stop myself right here before I get into another rant. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and share this video around. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content on this channel, and let me know your thoughts on the sidekick in the comments below. And until next time, Peace.